Hey everybody, it's Wendy from Swamp Rabbit Inn, and I'm here with my dear friend, love this guy, Wally. I love you too. Yes. Aww. So, Wally and I met, um, how did we meet Wally? <clears throat> when I started my campaign for Viv, yes. okay. we reached out. Viv Shake, Wally created this. Got to yes. try it, guys. Yeah, Good we'll, for we'll you. talk more about that, so stay tuned. So, in the fall of 2012, we put out a little questionnaire for local businesses to help us market Viv. Oh, yeah. And you came into our lives, yeah. and it's, it's been a blessing ever since. That's right. Okay, yeah. that was back in the day when I was doing, yes. um, I was doing like digital marketing. I had Greenville Marketing Lab, and someone connected us. I don't remember who it was. Yeah, it was Nancy. So Nancy, Nancy connected yes. us. Thanks, Nancy. Nancy. Started something really good here. Um, so when I met you, you were just getting ready to release Viv Shake. Yes. Yes. And then it was kind of interesting because I was having some health problems, and you're like, wow, this would be a perfect product for you. Hi, Dad. My dad's watching. Hi, Dad. How are Hi, you? Hi, Wendy's dad. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey, Wendy Hill. How are you? Thanks for watching, guys. Um, so I'm here with Wally Bishop, the creator of Viv Shake. And so I was having some health issues, and Wally's like, hey, try Viv Shake. I was actually having almost, I was almost type 2 diabetic. I was going through a really stressful time in my life, and it just didn't make sense, you know, why I was type 2 diabetic. But anyway, Wally told me to start using Viv. So I did. And I love the taste of it. And I was a really busy, you know, mom at the time. And so I was skipping breakfast. And then I started using Viv because it was so easy. You just mix it with water or almond milk and shook it up. And I just take it with me as I took the girls to school. So I started noticing that, you know, I was feeling better. And then I went to my doctor and actually my counts, my blood count was better. And so... I've been using it ever since simply because it's just, it, it turned my life around. And it's nutrition made simple. It is, and it's whole food nutrition. So, Wally and I both have a really strong passion for cycling, but Wally wasn't always a cyclist like nope. he is now. And he has started this wonderful team called Team Viv. And we'll tell you first about Team Viv and what they're doing now. But then we'll go, we'll go back and do the backstory because it's pretty amazing. So Wally, tell us a little bit about Team Viv. Team Viv started uh, in 2014. Okay. An old high school friend, Lewis McWhite. Hey Lewis, I don't oh know if gosh. you're listening or not. Hey Lewis. Uh, and I sort of discovered each other on the trail one day. Yeah. And he was sort of doing his thing and I was busy riding up and down the trail. Well, you got me introduced to cycling. On the Swamp Rubber Trail. Yep. Yes, and then I remember the trip up Tubbs Mountain Road where I couldn't make it and you had to help me crawl back. Aww. That was a humbling moment, but I learned greatly from that. Um, and so we devised a plan to do the Ride to Remember to support Alzheimer's. Oh yeah. That, that particular year. And tell us about that ride. Oh, it's a fantastic ride. Um, it happens in the middle of July. It's a three-day ride, 252 miles from Simpsonville to Mount Pleasant over wow. a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. Certainly support them. They're a great group if you love to cycle. Um, certainly look at, at doing that event. So it was Team Viv started with two people, mm -hmm. Lewis and myself. Aww. We were two. We ordered some kits and, you know, we, we, did, our, yep. we did our, our trip. The next year, we had 27 people join Team Viv. Wow. We raised almost $40,000. That was in 2015 then? 2015. Okay. Then we did it again in 2016, and we did it again in 2017. Oh my and, gosh. and today we've got about 50 Team Viv members wow. all out there promoting, uh, raising money for charities like A Ride to Remember to Support Alzheimer's oh, wow. and Mills for Wills and Safe Harbor and all these other events, but at the same time promoting living healthy and eating healthy, promoting health. And really encouraging beginner cyclists. Yes, and I've seen to you encourage. Out. Yes, right. you were a beginner one time. Yes, I was a beginner one time. Yes. We helped each other, and now I love how you and Lewis and Melissa and you guys are all encouraging people, middle-aged people, to get back on their bikes. Yes, and then do something incredible like ride for three days. Two hundred fifty-two miles. Yeah, and some of those 
some of those routes are not easy in the middle of July and raise money for Alzheimer's. So it's Ride to End Alls, is that? No, it's the Ride, ride to, to Remember. remember. Okay. To cool. End Alzheimer's. Oh, cool. Right. So definitely look them up. Now you guys are going to be doing some training rides and there's a ride coming up the end of April and this is a ride that we strongly support. Swamp Rabbit Inn is um, a supporter. I know you guys do this ride as a training ride. It's the Meals for Wheels. Um, what is it, ride? It starts at Trailblazer Park in uh, Traveler's Rest, and we'll put a link in the notes for, um, for that ride, but it's a wonderful ride. There are different distances, like 25. There 50. are like five different, different distances you can do, like a 25, I think there's a 30, a 42, a 72, and a 100 mile ride if you're, wow. if you're gutsy enough, yeah. brave enough, and in good enough shape. Yeah, and so that's what, April 30th? It's is it? April, it's the last Saturday in April. Yeah, so. Last Saturday in April. Yeah, so go to Meals on Wheels um, Greenville and we'll post a link for that ride. But that's a ride that starts right out the front door of our Swamp Rabbit Inn in Traveler's Rest. And we do still have some rooms. So if you're not from Greenville and you want to come up for that ride, we strongly encourage you to do that. And book a room at the Swamp Rabbit Inn TR, and you'll be able to walk right out the front door and hop on the ride. And we have a pool at that location, so after your ride, you can come relax, rinse off, and then go walk Traveler's Rest because there's so many awesome places to have lunch, dinner, go to the brewery, oh, yeah. a Swamp Rabbit Brewery in Traveler's Rest, a TR tasting room for a glass of wine. But yeah, come explore Traveler's Rest and do this ride. It's an amazing ride for Meals on Wheels. Hey, Hammy. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Trey. Trey Cole. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you guys. Yeah, uh, and I will tell AJ you said hi. Thank you. Yeah, we love AJ. So Wally, Wally's story is very inspirational, and I love that it, it hasn't stopped because he keeps encouraging people and you actually have a coaching business where yes. you help people. Tell us a little bit about your coaching yeah, business. Yeah, it's Wellness with Wally. Okay. Oh. And my journey is to help people get well yeah. um, and to have uh, better health and prevent illness and disease. Yeah. So it's a, it's a health coaching platform where I take people from where they are today to whatever level of health they want to be. So I'm sort of a guide. I help them discover what's best for them. I don't advocate a particular diet. Right. I try to get them what's best for them. Mm -hmm. You know. It has to work, otherwise it's just all Yeah, talk. and we're all unique. One diet's not going to work for everybody, yeah. right? Right. And it has to be something they can do and fold into their life, and that's part of my job is to help them do that. Mm -hmm. And if they have health conditions, we work with their doctor to help them overcome those things mm -hmm. and develop a diet plan and a routine and a lifestyle that will help them overcome overcome that and prevent future stuff. Okay, cool. Right? So Viv Shake is something that really makes starting or just promoting your good health easy. And where do you sell Viv Shake? Like how can people try Viv Shake? Um, locally we sell it at Carolina Triathlon and oh, Free Hub Bicycles. Yes. Right? Great places to get it. Greenville Cycling Center, okay. Kim Cunningham, another great place. You can find it online at vivshake.com. Okay. And I think. And we sell it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love serving this to guests. So we offer it in the morning. Guests can just use it. And I've had so many people say, I love that you have just a quick shake because we're going out for a ride and don't want to get bogged down. But it's a great recovery drink as well. But it's for everyone. It's not just a protein shake. It's really not a protein shake. It's a whole food. The thing about Viv is it's made from whole foods. There's nothing artificial. It's GMO certified free. It's lactose free. It's gluten free. Wow. Um, and it's nothing but the best of the most highly absorbable nutrients. Okay. We add special herbs and spices in there that are going to make you have better energy throughout the day. Okay. It helps balance blood sugar. Yeah. That's why it's great for diabetics, but it's also great at keeping our energy levels nice and even throughout the day. Cool. So we don't have that two or three o'clock crash. Yeah. It's safe for any age. We have children that take it. We have the elderly that take it. It doesn't raise blood pressure or pulse. That's, that's one of the things that was very important for me when I created Viv. Yeah. Was to make sure it was safe for anybody. 
Yeah, and people have made pancakes with it. I mean, you put it in smoothies, you drink it alone. It's just a really, really good. If any of you out there, hey Laura, if any of you out there have used Viv, share your comments below. Tell others what it's done for you because I know there are a lot of people out there that have really benefited from Viv. So, Wally's story. This is, this is pretty incredible. How did you become a nutritional coach and, and create Viv? You're not going to believe this. Well, first of all, I have to give credit to my lovely wife, Gwen. Hey, hey Gwen. Hey, beautiful. I love you. <laughs> um, because she was the start of this. She, she became very sick. Okay. And this was in 2004. Okay. And so she was seeing three different doctors on seven different medications and getting worse. And I'm praying like crazy, you know, to try to find relief. It's terrible to sit there and watch the person you love yeah. suffer. And, and then nutrition came about. Everything, we tried everything else and nothing worked. And so I heard about nutrition. I ordered some products after doing some research. I got a product in and I got it home on a Friday and I told her, I said, I've, I mean, I was tremendously excited. And she said, I'm not gonna do it. Oh. I'm tired of all the failures, <laughs> tired of all the disappointments. I'm not gonna try it. And I tried to get her all weekend to take it, right? Uh -huh. And she wouldn't. So this little voice kept saying, Wally, you take it. And I kept saying, I don't have fibro, yeah. right? But it's like, shut up and take it. Yeah. And so I did. You have to listen to your intuition. That's right. You got to listen That's to That's what intuition. guides you into quantum leaps. So let's and so, and so by Friday, I started the Monday. By Friday, I remember coming home and telling Gwen, we were sitting on the back porch. I remember it vividly. It's like, wow, babe, I don't know if it's this new stuff or not, but I feel good. Right? And from there on out, I started feeling better. I remember the, the following week. I remember her asking me one night, because I'd eat ice cream and cereal at night. I was addicted to all this sweet stuff. Yeah. She asked me, are you okay? You're, you didn't have your normal cereal or ice cream tonight, yeah. right? It's like, well, you know, I haven't even thought about it. Yeah. And it's because nutrition was helping balance my blood sugar, give me nutrients I needed so my body wasn't craving junk. Okay, now, right? you didn't look like this. No. When this was going down. I was 450 pounds plus. Wow. So I've lost over 220 pounds and kept it off for, what, 12 years now. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Hey Gwen, there she is. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. So he Love weighed you. over 400 pounds. You brought your yeah over 400. The famous pounds. pants by now. These yeah, are, so these the are famous now. So. Famous overalls. These were my uh, motorcycle riding. Before I did the bicycle thing, I did motorcycles. So there was no way in the world I could have pedaled anywhere. Yeah. I could barely walk. Yeah. But I don't know if you can see how wide these are. My goodness. But. That's a lot of man, Gwen. You had a lot of man there. <laughs> here, I fill up the whole camera here. So, wow. Those were a size 66 waist. Oh my gosh. Right. Wow, Wally. So, well, it's about the only thing I could find to wear. Wow. Right? Okay. And so I started losing weight. I was diabetic at the time. Yeah. My blood sugar started balancing. Um, and about the third week, I started feeling really good. I mean, truthfully, it was hard for me to walk 200 feet. My knees were so bad from carrying the weight for so long, yeah. but I got enough energy. And so one morning it's like, you know what? I'm just going to go walk. And seriously, I did about 200 feet out in the parking lot and I came back. And at that point I made a decision. I'm going to, I'm just going to keep doing this. Yeah. So that afternoon I did it again. And I also made a decision that every time I walked, I was going to do a little further and a little further. By the end of two weeks, I was walking a mile. Oh, I went wow. from 200 feet to a mile, but a lot of it has to do with nutrition. And because of that, and going back to school and getting getting an education nutrition, I discovered the stuff I needed. And I discovered that the stuff I was taking, I needed to add more to it. So I ended up with about six or seven different things. And it became very cumbersome. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think you, right. you're, you're like looking to make an improvement, but then it just becomes overwhelming. So Yeah, and for me it became cumbersome. Mm -hmm. And for my clients, I knew it would be cumbersome. But the great part of the story is after about two months, Gwen came and said, Hey babe, whatever you're doing, I want to do it. Aww. I want to try, right? Because you're getting younger and you're out walking and I'm coming home whistling and I'm in a great mood and I'm feeling terrific. And it's like, I want that. Yeah. You know, you're not going to leave me behind. Aww. And seriously, within a few months, Gwen started feeling better and her IBS improved and wow. all these different things started improving. And by the second year, she actually did an 85 mile bike ride with me. Yeah. 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 You remember? I remember. Festa Milo. I was there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so nutrition has helped her yeah. get her life back. And certainly Viv has been a huge part of that because what we did was when I created Viv, I took everything I learned and all these five or six products, I wanted to put it into one thing. 
so that it made nutrition really simple. Yep. You take it once or twice a day. You don't have five or six bottles of stuff you have to have. No, it's right? easy to take with you too. It's, it's a very easy to take. And yep. so through her sickness, it allowed me to lose weight, get fit, get healthy, her to certainly get much, much healthier, wow. uh, where she can now have a life again, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an awesome thing. And yeah, that's what I call a happy ending. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You and know? so Wally and I, like, Wally is a much better cyclist than me at this point. He puts a lot of time into it. And I remember he mentioned Tubbs Mountain, which is one of our favorite rides. It's a great place to start the hill climbing here because there are a lot of hills in Greenville if you want them, you know, but there's flat riding too. Our riding is excellent here mountain biking, road cycling, you name it, riding you the Swamp Rabbit Trail. We got it all for all genres of cycling and all levels of cycling. So, Come explore Greenville to cycle and stay at the Swamp Rabbit Hey, Joyce. Yeah. Thanks hey, Thanks for joining us. And hey, Tim. 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 Yay. Tim's the hope for you're going to be here in May for the uh, Mountains to Main Street Triathlon. Hope to see you. Dubs Mountain is the yeah. only ride. I'm getting calls. Sorry. It's the only ride I have never finished. Really? Yes. Oh, well, we have to change that. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can now. No problem, I'm sure. But then we worked up to going up Paris Mountain. I had been yeah. up a few times I was doing doing a lot of cycling at that time and Wally wanted to make it up Paris Mountain which is kind of the the epic ride here I mean yes there are there are more epic er <laughs> rides, rides but, yes. but you're not a I'm Marie. like you're real hey Marie you're real when you can go up Paris Mountain so anyway um, if you're a cyclist in Greenville you have to check off Paris Mountain That's yeah one of those one of those things yeah so we did that together. Yes. And I am proud to say that Wally made it up no problem. He's since taken many, many other cyclists up that. But this was two years ago on my birthday. I had a goal. I wanted to go up Caesar's Head. So Wally and some other friends helped you me. To you up Caesar's yeah, Head. Yeah, make it up Caesar's Head, which was something I wanted to check off my list before a big birthday I was having. So anyway, more of the sort story of a, is. Uh, <laughs> you helped me on my first one and I yeah. got to help you up Caesar's. So we've kind of leapfrogged each other. Wally is now way ahead of me. I do hope to do the um, Alzheimer's ride some someday. I still have some teenagers at home. So as soon as they fly the coop, I hope to join them on that ride. And hey, Karen, how are you? Hey, Marie. So anyway, we thank you so much for tuning in. Now we like to give away a gift every week to the people who watch and share this video and comment. Hey Meredith, how hey are Karen, you? hey Meredith. <laughs> um, so this week we're giving away a Swamp Rabbit Inn mug, and we'll just look through the comments, share this video once we post it on your social media channels, or just like it, and we will pick. A winner and send you a mug so thank you so much for tuning in hey Laura thanks everyone so much thanks for joining us yeah. if you want to come cycle some look us up on Facebook team Viv love for you if you're just beginning we'd love to help you get involved yep and they've made some really awesome things happen and make some really good friends and go check out vivshake.com or go give some business to Carolina Triathlon, Greenville Cycling Center, or Free Hub Cycles, all here locally in Greenville or by the Swamp or, Rabbit Yeah, Inn. or Wendy. Um, and go try some Viv. So see you again next week. We're going to put show notes um, for the ride to remember and also for the Meals on Wheels ride coming up. And any questions you have, send to me. Wally, where can people reach you if they want to connect with you directly and maybe learn more about your coaching business? They can reach me at wellnesswithwally.com. Okay. Or if they go to Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, it's Wally Bishop Health Coach. Okay. Facebook.com slash Wally Bishop Health Coach. Okay, and we'll put that information too in the notes. But see you next week, and thanks everyone for watching. It was so good to see all of Love you. Love you guys too. Thank yeah. you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.